Hi YouTube. As 2013 draws to a close, this is the perfect time to uh, do a video looking back and uh, also looking at the year ahead, 2014. You know, uh, every time the calendar flips, right, you, you can't lose. There's always optimism this time of year because uh, if you had a rough 2013, well, you know what? We're putting it behind us. We're flipping the calendar and we're going into 2014. Or if you had a good year, you have momentum to build on and you want to do even better the next year. So everybody's always full of optimism and it's always good to bottle that and carry it forward. You know, uh, how long you can sustain it is another thing, right? But uh, that, that's one of the things that I enjoy about the new year is, uh, is, is laying the groundwork for the year, setting my goals and then going after them. And you know, 2013 started with its own unique set of challenges. Um, you know, it, my health benefits spiked yet again, like they always do. And uh, that first paycheck in January is always painful when you kind of have to reset your budget based on uh, your health benefit increase. And, and that's uh, no different this year. My benefits went up $1,000 this year. So at some point, I'm sure we'll be talking about the Affordable Care Act because I remember, I remember hearing uh, Barack Obama saying that he was going to lower our health care costs, you know, through government involvement. And I haven't seen it yet. So... Um, also, if you remember, uh, there was a 2% Social Security uh, tax cut as part of one of the stimulus packages. Well, that expired in 2013. So at the start of the year, we all effectively took a 2% pay cut. Now, in the grand scheme of things, if those are the only challenges that you face in any particular year, that's a pretty good year. And quite honestly, for me, that was pretty much the case. You know, I, I had a pretty clean year as far as uh, things going wrong. And what that allowed me to do is is set an aggressive target for myself, and I I knocked it out of the park. I, I did much better than I, I thought I could. And, uh, you know, I, I raised my target a couple times, and I even exceeded that. So I was very happy with how 2013 went. And also, I found a passion. Um, you know, making videos and spending time on YouTube became a real passion for me last year. And it was some the, the the growth of my channel exceeded my wildest expectations. It honestly, there was no way to, to foresee that. Uh, you know, I started out the year with like 180 subs, and you know, it, it made me feel good that my message was uh, resonating with people. You know, and when people ask me, you know, what the point of my channel is, it's really. I mean, it, it would seem like it's all about buying silver, but it's really not. The number one message that I hope people take away is get out of debt and stay out of debt and live within your means. And you know, with the with what's left over, however you want to invest it, great. If it happens to be silver, which I consider myself a bit of an enthusiast, then great. You know, but really the message is stay out of debt. Make sure that debt cloud is removed from your life. Because, you know, I want you to be as happy and productive as you can be and really good things will happen in your life. But it's really difficult to do well when you're weighed down by that toxic debt, period. And, you know, I, I know that there's only so many ways that you can say that. And I know that it, maybe the message gets repetitive sometimes. Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of audience churn, okay, people that used to watch my channel quite a bit. I uh, no longer watch, and uh, you know I, I recognize that part of that could be that maybe my my message is getting stale. But you know I always when I go a while without doing one of those types of videos, I start getting PMs from people saying saying please more. <laughs> so it's something that I realize uh, you know some of you do enjoy, and that's why I, I like doing them. Um, in all honesty, so uh, you know there, there's some people like. Um, like, I really miss uh, Hat Weird, right? Remember Jose Rodriguez? He, he, he made videos uh, at the beginning of the year, and, and the volatility of, sh of uh, silver pretty much shook him out. And uh, I know that that's the case, too, right? Uh, you know, silver is a very volatile investment, okay? And uh, it goes, and with, with the ups come the downs. And last year was a down year. And, uh, you know, I, I saw that as an opportunity, and it allowed me to stack harder than I ever thought I could. And so I, I looked at it as more of a blessing than a, than a curse. Um, you know, and so I, 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 I took it as a positive. <laughs> I took it as a positive, okay? And uh, it just allowed me to buy more metal than I ever thought I could. Last year also saw me getting my first gold. 
Um, my wife and kids got me the half gram hummingbird for my birthday, and that kick started a little bit of bu gold buying too. I re recognize that I, you know, I don't collect a lot of things, but I recognize that I did want to collect the one tenth ounce gold lunars. And also, uh, the highlight of my stacking this um, last year was buying the Ultra High Relief uh, Dragon and Snake. That is a series that I think is absolutely spectacular. It was literally the highlight of my buying last year. I will uh, link the unboxing in this video if you haven't seen it. I, I, I just really enjoy that that series. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the year of the horse coming out this spring. Um, so yeah, from, from my perspective, uh, 2013, I, I also, I, I really enjoyed seeing, uh, you know, the strength in Silver Eagle sales and other silver bullion. It, it told me that, uh, you know, physical silver is, uh, is, is moving briskly. Now, the thing is, the miners responded in kind, right? Uh, there was also record supply brought to the market last year. So the two really did offset each other, obviously, and that's a big part of the reason why the price of silver went down the way that it did. When you when you look at the supply and demand numbers, you know, the the the, the miners really brought it last year. And uh, you know, I mean let, let's see what happens in 2014. Now this year I'm going into it with a with a real head of steam and a lot of optimism. Um, I am going to the World's Fair of Money in Chicago in uh, August. Uh, that is that is something that I've targeted because of for personal reasons Maybe I'll get into that later, um, but that just works out perfect for me. So that is something I'm really excited to do. I, from what I understand, that show is just absolutely mammoth, and uh, my, my son and I are going to turn it into a little road trip. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I'm going to be setting a really <clears throat> firm goal for myself for 2014, and I'm, I'm going to try to chase it and hit it. Um, I don't know if she wants me to disclose this, but... Uh, I know that Tinfoil Hat Girl has actually been toying with the idea of doing a goal setting spreadsheet for 2014. So I will certainly be taking part in that and enjoying that. That and, and I'm, I'm appreciative of the fact that she wants to do that. Um, so that, that's a great thing. And, you know, going into the new year, yeah, there, there will be, you know, one of the things I really enjoy doing is uh, I enjoy showing you guys new ways to make a little bit of extra money to apply to silver. It's one of the highlights of, of the channel is knowing that, you know, <coughs> I can show you, uh, you may, maybe it's a, a bank sign-up bonus. Okay, so having the bank subsidize your, your, your silver buying is fantastic. <coughs> and I know that that's a slippery slope. Okay, I, I can't preach about staying out of debt and then say, oh, here's a credit card. So understand there's a very fine line here. I'm talking about using credit as a tool with discipline. And when you're able to do that, you're able to uh, really, you know, even add more silver to, to your stack. Uh, to give you an example right now, Capital One is having, has a credit card offer, uh, $200 off a $500 purchase. Honestly, guys, that's about as good as it gets. You're literally saving 40% on your silver order, okay? It's the Capital One Sony card, and I will be taking advantage of that, and I will be getting $500 worth of silver for $300. You know, I, that, that's just uh, something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy I enjoy discussing new coin designs, um, new, new series, uh, you know, I, I love that aspect of it. I, I get really excited to, to see what the new releases are going to be. Talking about the prospects of some of these. How are they going to do? Um, looking for hidden gems. You know, all that stuff. I love it. And I'll be doing that more in 2014. I, I will also be doing uh, some videos. I really wanted to I want to dig into depression. Uh, there, there's probably four or five discussions I want to have with you guys about depression. I know that it's something that is really prevalent in our society, in our world today, and there's a lot of reasons for it. I'd like to kind of peel back some of the layers there, uh, talk about some personal experiences, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and I know that a lot of you battle with that, and it, it's something that I, I hope 
in a small way, you know, my, my silly little YouTube channel, I, hopefully I, I can, I can, I can help a little bit or, or, you know, just be a steady voice there. I, I guess that that's what I hope. Um, so th those are some of the things that I'm excited to do in 2014. I, I couldn't be more optimistic heading into the year. Um, for those of you that have only been buying silver for a short time, you know, there, there's some challenges that I issued to you. One of them was, you know, all of the scrambling money that you do, and, and, you know, in, in separating that silver that you buy to inspire other people. I, I think that could be a really good thing. You know, when people see, oh my God, look at what he's doing. That, that doesn't even dip into his household budget. <clears throat> I, I think that if we can have a strong visual there, that will help other people. But what, I, what I'm anticipating is a lot of you guys that have only been doing this for a year, when you basically double your efforts and in going into the next year, I can only imagine what it's going to look like by the end of next year. I, I think you guys are going to be, your minds are going to be blown by what you're able to achieve. And uh, I, I'm just really psyched and I'm, I'm psyched to share it with you guys. And uh, for those of you that, uh, that watch, I, I really appreciate it. You know, it just it keeps me going and it, like I said it's become a true passion and uh, you know I know that a lot of you are getting it I, I hear it all the time and uh, I, I just I, I love it so all right guys so I'm wishing you a, a happy and prosperous new year in 2014 and and let's bring it okay talk to you later